There's a popular perception that Gen Z is rife with narcissistic wannabe influencers. 72% of Gen Z say they'd like to be an online celebrity. American kids now have a totally deluded and unearned belief in their charm, brains, and talent. On top of being weak snowflakes who virtue signal their idealistic worldview on Twitter instead of living in the real world. Every day I literally have a different political opinion. The sentiment that I hear from Gen Z is that y'all are just trying to find some financial security while battling severe depression. Is any of that accurate? And if so, why? Well, what better way to find out than with a jubilee? Video. I have felt depressed. Go. Come on, guys. Fuck right off, dude. I don't want to gatekeep depression, all right? And yes, depression exists like on a spectrum. But damn, all of you strongly agree? Like no one's even on the somewhat agree part. All right, Gen Z is clearly suffering. Obviously, modern technology and modern pressures play a big role in that. But I want to talk about something else for a minute. Sometimes I see what seems to me to be like a bit of fetishizing mental illness. Like it's really popular to meme about how depressed you are. The prevalence of this shit really creeps me out. Hey bros, do you suffer from depression and existential dread? Haha, <laughs> yeah, me too. Let's jerk off about how we're all depressed and hate ourselves. And that absolutely can be empowering to some people to know that they're not alone. But maybe in some cases, it's a bit of a double-edged sword where people might convince themselves they have a chemical imbalance or something that's out of their control and they end up feeding off that negativity and just languishing which might actually trigger or worsen a depressive state rather than taking concerted actionable steps to improve their lives. I probably sound like those people that are like oh bro just go outside and do some exercise you'll feel better but you know sometimes there is a grain of truth to that. Doing things that make you feel good, practicing good habits can improve your mental state. If you're someone who literally struggles to have the energy to get out of bed or you go through periods of suicidal ideation then yeah your situation might be a little beyond the purview of just have good habits lol but this is just something to keep in mind i'm truly thinking that like the pressure that's put on our generation with social media is what like causes it I don't think pressure is the only or even main problem. The internet offers endless distraction. You can scroll on Reddit or TikTok, consuming two second meme after two second meme, each with a nice dopamine hit, like a slot machine. And suddenly three hours have passed. Time spent by yourself, not really doing anything, has flown by. You won't remember 99% of what your eyeballs just saw. It didn't give you any sort of long-term fulfillment. As much as it's an escape, it sounds like a prison. Everyone has like beauty in them. So it's important to love your body and love like how you look because like girl that's your body like flaunt what you got boo that validation needs to come from within not from other people because like i know i'm sexy i don't even know what else i mean i'm sexy so um period poo uh okay i'm gonna sound like an asshole here maybe but unless you were raised by wolves and you're a complete sociopath everyone needs some level of external validation and that's okay so i consider myself like a pretty self-assured person but if literally every single person i meet tells me that i'm an ugly piece of shit who can never be loved i'm not gonna pretend like i'm in this bubble where I won't internalize any of that, right? In fact, I think a pretty big reason why I've gotten to this stage is because when I was a kid, I was rarely, if ever, made to feel bad about myself, especially about things I couldn't control. And that's what I think society should aim for. So you're not forced to put on this cloak where you have to assure yourself that you have value. That self-assuredness would just come out naturally. The problem is for the younger generation is that they'll often seek that validation online through engagement and likes, and that cannot be relied upon as consistently. And it means that people always have this pressure to perform even when they're just by themselves at home. So I'm about to have a really vulnerable moment with y'all. Oh no. So my whole life I have been so bullied and words hurt so much. And six months ago, I almost took my life. Like words, um, they have this uh, effect on you. And sometimes you can't talk to people about it. Okay, this is gonna sound really bad. This guy went from I'm sexy and I know it and I don't need external validation to Well, this. I guess I'm just doubling back to my earlier point, which is that, you know, you don't have to deny reality or deny your needs to try and feel better. I get my news from YouTube. Wow. Damn, pretty based. I think there's a fundamental cultural advantage young people tend to have. Growing up with the tech, I think has given them better tools to sort out what is valuable information from what is not. Whereas my grandma, for example, the idea that any loser can post the absolute rubbish and have it spread on WhatsApp or YouTube, she seems to have trouble with that concept. The thing is, for all the faults of mainstream media, selectively choosing what they report on, what they leave out, favoring sensationalism, all those issues exist in new media as well. And it's usually amplified tenfold. 
Shit, my own YouTube channel is partly testament to that. In the videos where I'm like pretty hyperbolic, being kind of mean, those videos tend to get more views and more engagement. Independent content creators are really incentivized to give like sensationalist, hyperbolic, hyperpartisan hot takes. On top of that, it's so much harder to hold some random guy in his basement accountable. We're like in this new era where we pretty much have to learn how to decipher which is valuable and valid information and what's not. And like as social media continues to grow, I feel like we're just gonna keep becoming more literate. Ultimately, a lot of this shit is, is not actually about your knowledge. It's not about your intelligence level or anything. It's more about getting good at picking who you place your trust in. Why do I believe the scientific consensus on matters? How do I really know that the earth isn't flat? It seems like, you know, we have some view of the world that gets confirmed through repeated testing. And I understand that for all these scientists that are, for example, studying climate change, that to get to their position, there are so many tough barriers. My layman opinion based on my intuition or what I think is my logic, just won't match. And also that, you know, reporting things incorrectly or keeping certain things a secret would probably be really tough given the amount of moving parts at play. My point is there's a process here beyond just believing any piece of information that sounds nice to me. Our generation is very cynical, very nihilistic. We assume that things can't be fixed because in the past they just never were. I don't know. I think I'm very optimistic for the future because I believe as we become more educated and we have more resources to certain things and information, we can do great things, but we just have to believe that we can or else it won't happen. That kind of sounds like a cringe anime line, but I completely agree. Younger people are getting higher levels of education and there's some indication that they're getting more politically engaged as well in a practical way, though they still lag behind. So. Is Gen Z really cursed? Is the internet corrupting them forever? I think the scariest thing when it comes to the internet and young people is if they're impressionable and they get taken advantage of by some entertainer they think they know who doesn't actually give a shit about them. The sheer amount of influencers right now that promote some form of gambling or like a horrible cryptocurrency is nuts. What do you mean? Crypto? What's the crypto thing? When it comes to mental health and social media, obviously that's an issue. I've said this before, but I think that it might be really prominent right now and it might just be a teething thing. It manipulates our lizard brains, but I think people can culturally overcome and mitigate a lot of this you know, by getting a better understanding of the mechanisms behind the tech and by getting a better understanding of themselves. Moving on. I totally don't buy Bill Maher's crotchety old man shtick about how the younger generations expect too much that they all want participation trophies. What I feel they want is not a ridiculous equality of outcome, just a more fair playing field. They don't expect that to be a fight anymore. What has to come is marrying that with like pragmatic knowledge and practical action. I have seen some fears that Gen Z might be a lot more politically extreme and much more entrenched in their position, unwilling to hear out or compromise with others. But that just doesn't seem to be the case. In fact, it's boomers that seem to be more defensive, more sensitive, and less willing to compromise. So overall, I think things will get better, and by and large, I'm pretty optimistic about Gen Z. Keep in mind that this is a generation where religious dogma has had the least amount of influence. I think this will lead to a healthy evaluation of people's foundation, why they believe the things they believe, which for me is really positive. All right, I'm done. Sorry about the long wait for this video. Uh, the next one should come a lot sooner. See you then. Peace. When you become old and you don't understand new entertainment trends or whatever, just be honest and say, look, I don't get it. It's not for me. And leave it at that. Don't do that shit where you pretend to get it, but like you're just morally above it. You think I'm out of it because I'm not on Twitch? Well, maybe I get Twitch, but I just think people watching other people play video games is a waste of time. By the time you're 60, just come to accept that you're probably out of touch, okay?